Welcome back everybody, so I uh, got out of my meeting a little early, so let's just have a quick look at uh, Bitcoin and Matic, alright? So uh, Bitcoin um, kind of goes without saying, I'm short in the, the majority of the market. At the moment I'm flat, but uh, generally speaking I'm looking to short the majority of the market. The reason I'm holding out uh, and closed my positions yesterday is because I've been in and out of shorts for three weeks now, and personally it's... I needed to sleep, alright? I've got two very little kids, I've got a busy job, and the last thing I need is um, a sort of shorts hanging over my head. And I've been looking at this range that we're in at the moment, and um, there could have been a lot of opportunities for me to take profit and do longs and shorts and longs and shorts. So I thought what I'll do is I'll take the profit uh, and uh, see if I can do longs and shorts. But anyway, that is aside the point what we all want to know is what's most likely to happen at the moment so we're on the four early now but we've got that that channel that I that I mapped out the uh, the pitchfork channel and when we look at this it's still being respected at the moment now there are a few other things that you could play into this as well so we'll just zoom in sorry about this it's uh, uh, a little messy but um, the top side of the channel has been tested uh, a number of times on the four hourly chart and um, it's basically been rejected from it each time. Now the thing that makes me a little concerned, not concerned, but I mean obviously I'm not in any positions at the moment so I can flip, I can go long or short at any point, but I do believe that the direction is down, but whichever direction it does make, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a very large one, like $1,500, uh, at least $1,000 in one big go, all right? And normally a move like that you can start to see it dropping off um, and you can probably get in there for it so for instance if, we, if we're going to start to to drop down and, and make that that big move you could probably chat it on a 15 minute chat you'll be able to see it so we'll look for an example of that uh, from our last one um, so yeah so we had moments of weakness bounces and then just constant 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 and then drop off so something along those lines maybe not so dramatic that that already was what that was, a, that was only a hundred dollar move so so in all fairness yeah that would be something i'd be looking for for the for the downwards move but for the upwards move it wouldn't really i don't think it really looked like that it, it's more likely to just to, to shoot up so what i'm looking at is supports and resistances um within this channel that i've got planned out as well as moving averages as well so if we go to the the daily time frame what we see is that we are above technically the 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 50, the 100, the 200, um, actually we're just below the 50 at the moment, but you know only marginally we're sort of dancing around that channel. Um, the 10 simples coming back down, and uh, that's going to start. We're going to start making some some sort of pretty nasty looking crosses if we carry on like this in in the, on the daily time frame, which would that would go in favour of the shorts, all right? All of that's in favour of the shorts. But the only thing that uh, really is 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 making me think that there there might be a, there could be a move to the up is if we were to break out of this channel it's as simple as that break out of this channel and above the center of the Bollinger Band could take us all the way up to the top which is going to be around could be nine thousand six hundred and fifty so what I'm looking for now is um, any attempt to get back up to to this level which is today it's nine thousand two hundred seventy seven or thereabouts but ideally you know it, I'd like to see it make an attempt to get up to there uh, and then if it can't get above there or if there's a, a decent rejection then it's it's back into the shorts again for me. Now if we're looking at the 4 hourly chart it looks already like it just wants to be rejected. Rejected from here which is the uh, the 200 EMA but it's all, also the, respecting pretty much this descending channel that we've got. Um, some of these moving averages are, mo are moving up again like the, uh, the, the the 10 simple but it would obviously because we had this big move here um, and uh, it looks like we're being supported or just brought up above there as far as price action at the moment. Also the, the, the Bollinger Band centre is playing a big role in this as well. So four hourly, if we break down beneath the Bollinger Band, then we come back down to test the low. And if we test that low, that will break the uh, the formation, um, which could take us down to actually the the, the four hourly and the uh, and the daily more or less have the same bottom end of the Bollinger Band. Actually, that would also coincide with this this channel of the pitchfork. So um, breaking basically nine thousand um, should bring the uh, the price all the way down to at least seven. Uh, 8,735 um, but if that breaks uh, and being down there and, and staying within that region down there I think that the channel will probably find ourselves getting rejected at uh, the next level 
So if we have a look at Matic then, shall we now? So, like I say, overall, I think the, the direction is down for this one. Uh, the RSI plus the, the money flow index don't mean much. The volume is very low. The, the MACD is uh, beneath the zero point, even though there is a bit of uh, bullish divergence. It doesn't really count, considering the, the situation that we're in right now. So I still think the movement's to the down, but I would like to see one last little attempt to get up to um, three uh, 9,300 if it can, uh, and so I can uh, basically for me, for me to enter a short. We'll, we'll see. That doesn't mean I'm going to enter at that price. What it means is I'm waiting to see if that breaks, and if that break com makes the uh, changes the momentum to the up, then then you know anything anything is possible. I mean, for the ultimate move, we'll be breaking above here the Itchy Cloud, the Bollinger Band, and also this descending trend, which is actually as of today is ten thousand eight eighty, and that that would spark another a really big move, probably ten percent from there. Might be even looking to break up and above 11,000 but you know that again this is a different story altogether uh, but to me it looks like we're still respecting this channel and the channel is is you know it's not been broken either way we're at the top end of the the pitchfork so anyway I'm boring you to death with that I'm sure you get the idea you get the picture there so let's move to Matic then see what's going on with Matic so Matic is and has broken into this blue box range and and, and is holding at the bottom of it so you could argue the point that yes this could be an area to buy but it's still showing significant weakness what we had here was a um, is an upwards trending level of support which we broke down beneath a few days ago and actually since we tried to get above it we've not we've been rejected from it and um, that also would be as of today that would be the top of the blue box territory that's that's two cent so to, if it could get above two cent then that would be great um, but for the moment we're still playing this range which is down at the bottom here about 18.50 and this one which is 2 cent um, this 200 EMA played a nice role um, for a super support um, and that would also play another supporting role again if we were to break down that low and um, Bollinger Bands is expanding to accommodate some of these these uh, these moves personally I'm looking at this uh, bearish overall because the market in my book is bearish and Matic's not that coupled in with Bitcoin's moves it's it's, it's doing it it does do its own thing it, you know, unfortunately it's been going down as Bitcoin's been going up these last few days so you could say it's decoupled in, 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 in you know maybe in a bad way but if you look at these moving averages they're all kind of quite steep now on the daily so we're getting crosses now from the 10 simple above the the 9 and the um, and the 21 they're all crossing so they're slowly but surely making their way into uh, into bearish territory and not that this counts so much on a, on a chart which is so small but we do have a fresh Ichimoku cloud cross take place on the daily here um, which would suggest a continuation for a move down so I think it's got further to fall but if it does bounce it would bounce from either here or here so that would either be from uh, 1772 or basically the bottom of the bottom, uh, this uh, blue box territory which is um, 1850 we'll call it breaking above two cent obviously that'll be bullish and we'd look for a continuation maybe even up to above uh, and and to uh, these previous highs around about uh, 2.3 cent but again you know that's that's a long way off you know at the moment it's still bearish with the rest of the rest of the market looking bearish don't see how it can really make big moves look at the uh, the the um the volume has tailed right off like really really small volume tiny tiny volume and also we're in um, negative territory with the with the MACD so it doesn't look great but when you go to the 4 hourly there's one thing I did notice and it's only a 4 hourly chart okay so this is in its favor okay so the the MACD uh, took a uh, took a big hit and came all the way down to this level then made a positive cross okay so we we this it looks like even though we've got uh, decreased volume. I mean, well, yeah, dec decreased volume, but uh, decreasing and descending price action. We also look like we're having an accumulation phase on the four hourly. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean much because it's only a four hourly at the moment. We do have our death cross here, which um, doesn't really look like it's played out to me. To be honest, and again, one of the reasons why I'm still bearish on it. Uh, but that that to me looks like a, a reasonable sort of accumulation phase and if this were to continue even if price action were to be going down I might be interested in buying as you know if this continues for another few days to a week or so um because it, it could signify a big <coughs> big sneeze a big move all right but it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to happen I'm I'm trying to to uh, frame this in a, in some form of uh, bullish 
uh, way, but it's it's kind of difficult at the moment. Um, so again, yeah, bottom of this range is, is has any op every opportunity to bounce. But we're being tested each time. We're coming down to test it. We're making technically lower lower highs on it. Um, uh, but this accumulation sort of pattern, and, and like I say, it's only what a few days old. It's, it's not it's not very old at all. Uh, is the only thing I have really to suggest, other than the fact that this bottom here, is, this uh, this level here, has been respected, uh, which it often, you know, look back in time and this area it does does generally work out. Look, you can see it's it, it means it means a lot for it. You know, we tested it numerous times here, and then eventually we we made it above. But then, you know, it's it's not the be all and end all. It's a support and resistance. So, which is exactly what we're in. This is our range. It's support and resistance. So. Breaking the resistance, it goes up. Breaking the support, it goes down. And whichever way it decides to go, it should be a pretty substantial move. You know, we're talking maybe 25% or more. Um, but again, you know, this is very early days in it. So for me, I'm gonna I'm gonna opt out of this one because I generally think that the odds are in favour of the bears across the board with the market in general. And um, I would be interested in picking this up, but considering we've got a death cross here and. Um, and and the daily is looking the way it does, and also if you look at the sats on this, is is it's been been wiped out, uh, and in, and also this is a daily chart we're looking at on the sats here. If if sats continue to stay low, even at this price action now, which is you know, two two hundred and six. Uh, sats, uh, you will get an incoming death cross. You'll come close to that. I don't think we'll get the daily death cross on Matic, on, on you know, with the sats. I don't think we'll actually get that. Um, I think we might come close to it, but I don't think we'll actually get it. But again, this is all speculation and theory at the moment because th the big move for the market is yet to happen. We don't know which direction it's going to go. If it goes up, then then there's every chance that everything will go up with it. If it goes down, I think there's uh, more. It's more likely that everything will go down with it. It'll be interesting to see what the sats look like if there is a breakdown in Bitcoin. Yeah, because sometimes that can that can actually in increase sats. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it to you with, with you there. I've got a real busy day ahead of me. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a nice day. Take it easy.